So my name's Sally Derrick and I work for Serona Care and Health and I'm the school nurse here in three ways. Um, we have children here with moderate to severe learning disabilities um, who can struggle with accessing mainstream school, who have difficulties with their behaviour. And then there's lots of children here with social and emotional um, difficulties that need lots of therapeutic work and support. The Fun Fit Club began following a meeting with a number of staff in the school uh, to recognise that there was uh, a problem in the school with some children being overweight and unhealthy, leading unhealthy lifestyles. Again, with their learning difficulties, need to be able to follow very simple and clear instructions. And we felt that a tailored programme for the children was what was needed to help support them with their healthy lifestyle and, and exercise regime. I come to the club to like to try and lose weight and like try and get fitter and healthier and I change my ways of eating to get a six pack and to get all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> we had the offer from Bath Rugby Foundation to support us in setting up a club. So between ourselves we worked out that it was a service that was definitely required in this school and we wanted to provide it to engage children and families. Bath Rugby Foundation are working with Three Way School and Serona on this project because we feel it's really important to make that positive impact with the children um, at this key stage in their, in their lives. We aim to change their mentality and build their confidence um, personally and their attitudes toward food and uh, relationships with other students um, so that they can take that forward into the next step of their lives. Three Ways School contacted us because we do lots of programmes with them and together with Sainsbury's at Odd Down who have provided uh, lots of free food to help with the project so we can do things like today we had a picnic where we tried hummus and lots of different vegetables dipped into it and we also did smoothie making which you hopefully seen and they loved making the ice creams they loved eating it didn't they, they? Did. that was really good so Sainsbury's at Odd Down have been really helpful um, working with Sally so that we can communicate with the school about what sort of activities are appropriate and then the activity trackers which were provided by Bath CCG and Public Health and I think the students have really enjoyed using them, it's really highlighted to them how active they haven't been or have been as, and it's really improved how much they've kind of yeah, moved they've within loved, the day. They've loved having them on as yeah. a bit of a treat. It's been, it's been yeah. Good. Over the past nine weeks, we've seen a massive change in themselves. Um, and it's been really nice to see how much more confident they are in themselves. So when we started the first week, the students found it really difficult to talk to each other. They didn't know each other that well. Um, one of the ch children didn't want to leave their parents' sides. They wanted to hold their hand whilst they did all the activities. And now today, by the end, they're just really happy interacting with each other and that's another outcome which has really benefited from this it's that social interaction which is why the picnic was a really nice way to end we also have strong links with three ways and we come in and do activities within the school and we also have an inclusive after school club that we deliver so we can signpost those children and say okay if you've really enjoyed doing the activities we've been doing with come you, along, there's more involved. opportunities for you to come yeah. and be active with us outside of school as well, or within the school life, hopefully. Hopefully they'll be keen to get involved. So I'm Simon Farker and I work here as a counter and cafe manager in Bathard Down Sainsbury's stop. So Sainsbury's agreed to help the Fun Fit Club, firstly because it's for the local store just behind us, so it helps kind of support our local charity and be part of our local community, but also healthy eating is part of Sainsbury's ethos and helps um, alongside our Active Kids campaign we run. First of all we donated £40 from our local charity budget to allow them to purchase the food and drink they would need for the duration of the nine week course. Also as part of that Sarah James our charity coordinator went over and helped with their touch rugby day and helped on their fun cooking day when they were creating food from the products they brought in store and then they came in store and did a treasure hunt where they looked at their uh, favourite foods and the alternatives they could buy um, instead. We have also worked um, closely with Serona and the Healthy Lifestyles team 
to ensure that the messages we're giving for the healthy living and healthy lifestyle activities are up to date, are effective and um, current. So we've had great integrated working between health, between the voluntary services, through school and it seems to be really working. Engaging the parents in all the activities that we do has been invaluable. We've had a great success rate with, with parents attending every week. They're really enthusiastic about it, they want to come in. I've seen lots of positive changes with the children over the course of the programme. They're really keen in school, they come up to me and tell me about all the changes they're making in their snack swapping at home or that they're increasing their physical activity levels and doing more exercise. They're really keen to show me their tracker watches and look at the information to prove to me that they're reaching their targets and really trying hard. It's made a big difference for them and it's also helped increase their their self-esteem, they're feeling much more positive and reporting that to me. Um, and it's really good to see one child in particular that has his in attendance at school has increased because he's engaging and coming in and enjoying activities now. And it's great to see the progress that he's making. Right, what Fun Club means to us, it's meant a lot, hasn't it, boys? We, um, particularly for Isaac, Isaac, come on. Particularly for Isaac, who, um, hasn't done much exercise and for the first time I've seen him running, I've seen him getting pink, so he's quite pink today, <laughs> actually getting up and running around and doing some exercise has been fantastic, hasn't it? So it's meant a lot to us and he's looked forward to it every week. We have learnt um, a lot about the food and it's been interesting because we, we thought we knew as a family quite a lot about food. We don't know everything and it's been a really good reminder um, about... I think the sugar lesson was quite was particularly useful. Shocking. Shocking. To learn Shocking. that a Jaffa cake has one and a half teaspoons of sugar. So that was good for us and that's had a, an impact at home because the boys now ask for porridge for breakfast. Well, what's, what was really good is when we first talked about this in the clinic appointment, it was, um, I wanted something for Isaac, for us to, to do the pro uh, SHINE programme or something, but we, we wouldn't be able to access it in a, a setting outside school, an unfamiliar setting, mm. because um, Isaac wouldn't feel comfortable and we, we, we can't do after school clubs in any other setting. so it being at school with people he knows, with friends, and also you know, people like Sally, who he sees around the school, it's a, she's a familiar face, has been fantastic. But also the fact that I could be there and that parents have been included, or, or you know, a, a part of it, has meant that Isaac would come. Otherwise, he wouldn't. You know, I, I, we were at a stage where he just wouldn't access anything um, unfamiliar with coming to the club and changes in his school day. He's actually done more school these last two weeks than he has in two years. One, two, three, four.